Good morning and welcome to Faith Formation. We are in the second Sunday after Easter, but we are still celebrating because that sacrifice was made for us to live our lives every day. So we're going to, to keep celebrating here at HV Kids. And today we're talking about listening. Do you ever think it's hard to listen? <laughs> Yeah, a lot of times it is. And I was thinking this morning in the car and needing to hear the navigation tell me where to turn and get to where I need to go. And it was hard to listen to that guide because I had my husband in the car talking on my phone, the kids in the back seat, the traffic noise around me, the radio, all these things were keeping me from hearing the one thing that I needed to hear to get to where I was going. And that just made me kind of stop and think this morning. That can be like our relationship with Jesus. We talk to Jesus, but when it comes time to listen, we can sometimes get distracted by all the other noise going on around us. All the things that we want to do. All the friends talking to us. All the things that just... Just get in our way of stopping and having that quiet time to hear Jesus' words back to us. So that made me think of a book. And the book is called Telephone. And, and this may be a game that you've played at school. It's a great circle time game to talk about listening. And in this book, we see a set, a, a series of birds along a telephone wire. And it's a, it's kind of a book of passing information down the line. And you can guess, I bet, that it very quickly takes a wrong turn. Because Mama Bird turns to the first bird and says, Tell Peter, fly home for dinner. Very, you would think very simple directions. Tell Peter, fly home for dinner. Well, when I look at this bird, I, I see that he has a baseball bat and maybe his mind was on baseball, maybe he wasn't listening at all, but he passes along to the next bird, tell Peter, hit pop flies and homers. So n nothing like what mom needed, No, none of the information that mom needed Peter to get. And you can imagine what happens from there. So the next bird passes down, tell Peter prop planes are for flyers. That becomes, tell Peter crocodiles are bad liars, <laughs> which then becomes, tell Peter my monster truck has big tires. <laughs> then, tell Peter something smells like fire. And then this goes on and on down the line, the information getting more out of whack, the birds focusing more on what they're seeing around them than the information, than the words they're receiving in their ears. It gets crazier and crazier until the last bird tells a wild story to Al, ending with, he's too young to be somebody's dinner. You know, that, that overly dramatic bird, we probably know that person. To which wise old owl, of course it's wise old owl, he must have been through this before, receives the information, stops and thinks about it second, turns and says, hey Peter, your mom says fly home for dinner. So in all that noise, and all that distraction, Owl knew what to listen for. Not all the jumbled words, not the things going on down on the ground, not all the distraction. Owl listened and heard what he needed to hear, even amid all that craziness. And that made me think we need to be like Al. We live in a world with a lot of noise. And sometimes in all that noise, the real message that we're trying to receive can get lost, can get jumbled, can get twisted. 
You know, we have our friends telling us one thing, our friends at church telling us another, our friends on the playground maybe encouraging us a different way. We hear a lot of words. How do we stop and think which of these, which, what information, which of these people have my best interest in my friendship with Jesus in mind? Which of these words and all of this distraction are the words that Jesus needs me to hear? Our scripture reading today, um, Jesus is talking to some people who are, don't really like him. And he says, my sheep hear my voice. It was winter, and the festival of the dedication of the temple was being celebrated in Jerusalem. Jesus was walking in Solomon's porch in the temple when the people gathered round him. How long are you going to keep us in suspense? Tell us the plain truth. Are you the Messiah? I have already told you, but you would not believe me. The deeds I do by my father's authority speak on my behalf. you will not believe, for you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never die. No one can snatch them away from me. What my Father has given me is greater than everything, and no one can snatch them away from the Father's care. The Father and I are one. And the people again picked up stones to throw at him. We know in our hearts, in our brains, we know when we hear Jesus talking to us. So, Jesus is once a friendship with us, but we have to put in the work too, right? So this week, I want you to be like Owl. <laughs> Cut through all the noise and listen. Think about what you're hearing and listen for God. Listen for Jesus in all of that. Jesus knows my sheep hear my voice. We are Jesus' sheep. We are Jesus' people. Let's stop this week and make sure we're hearing Jesus' voice. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for the words in the Bible. We thank you for our friendship with you. Jesus, we ask that you help us cut through the noise, cut through the confusion, cut through the distractions, and find time this week to stop and get all the distractions out of the way and listen for your voice. We are your sheep and we pray to follow you the best we can. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.